Uh, the rapper, Ye, yeah. uh, formerly known as Kanye West, has agreed to acquire the conservative social media platform Parler. George Farmer is the CEO there, and he joins me now. George, are, are you going to go for total free speech? And if so, does that include allowing anti-Semitic posts like the ones that got Ye locked out of Twitter? Well, thanks for the question, Stuart. Um, I want to take it back to a higher level here, which is at what point do we censor speech? Um, Parler has always maintained its community guidelines, which have been very clear. We don't allow for pornography. We don't allow for financial doxing. We don't allow for intellectual property theft. But as soon as you start drawing distinctions as to what is and isn't hate speech, you sit yourself in the seat of power as to what can be put online and what can't be put online. And that's where we've ended up with the problem with existing social media now, which does overtly censor speech. And that's the problem. So once you start deciding where that scale is going to be set, you're in a world of trouble. Yeah, but you've got to tell us what's going to happen here. I mean, we all want free speech. But do we all want anti-Semitism writ large on Parler? Well, I mean, I don't think Ye has given any indication that that's going to be the case. I mean, he's obviously wants a platform for his voice. This is what he's now got. Um, there are plenty of platforms out there so, which so will censor we, speech. I'm, in I'm the sorry way to that... interrupt you, George, but is this what we Go can expect? It. He takes over, takes control, and starts making anti-Semitic comments. I mean, that is entirely possible, isn't it? I mean, the platform will continue to adhere to its community guidelines as outlined in its terms of service. Uh, that's always been very clear, and we will continue to adhere to the guidelines that we've put out and which have allowed us to operate freely uh, within the confines of the law. Um, so I don't expect that to change. Obviously, in the end of the day, and when the deal is complete and when he has control of the platform, he'll be able to make those decisions for himself. He will be ultimately be the controller. Obviously, I, as CEO of Parliament Technologies, the service provider behind Parler will not be involved in the day-to-day -day decisions like that. OK, I'll move on. What are your thoughts on Elon Musk buying Twitter? <laughs> well, that's been quite the saga, hasn't it? I mean, yeah. uh, initially it was uh, on, then it was off, then it was on again. Um, you know, right now the market is still discounting the deal, or at least there's a slight discount in the deal going through. I think the stock price was trading around 51 this morning with an acquisition price of 54.20. So there's obviously a, a few unbelievers out there. Um, I think that it probably will happen now, just judging by what's going on uh, with Elon and with the Twitter board. Um, it seems like it's going to take place. But I think that there's a huge cultural institution to change there. You know, he's almost going to have to fire all 6,000 employees to reverse the direction of the company. It's, it's overtly woke. It's the flagship company of the woke brigade. Um, and this is going to be a very difficult ship to turn around. I wonder if he will make the same kind of changes on Twitter as a Ye wants to make on Parler. That would be interesting, wouldn't it? We'll see how it flashes yeah. out. Uh, George, thank you very much for being with us today. We do appreciate it. See you soon. Thank you. Thank you, Stuart.